Welcome back friends to another episode of Lynch Paints where I Lynch will be showing you all how to paint the IG series Assassin's Droid for Star Wars Legion. So let's grab our paint brushes, our paints and our latest bounty and let's get straight into it. And of course for this project you will need a range of paints and the ones I used today are here. All these fabulous colours. You'll also require a spray can which is in the garage currently, a medium sized brush, a very fine detail brush, and perhaps a larger dry brush as well. So then, starting out, we're going to prime our model in a black acrylic spray. And then next, what we want to do after that's dried is we're gonna take some Iron Warriors base and a big fluffy brush and then what we're going to do is that we are going to dry brush the majority of the model. Doesn't matter if it's too heavy at the minute, because we can always dull it down later on with washes, and then I'll probably go over the top with a lighter silver as well. So now that that is dry, we're going to move over to using some Greynite steel or any other kind of lighter silver that you may have knocking about. And then we're going to grab a smaller brush. And then what we're going to do is that we're just going to pick out the raised areas, the areas closest to the sort of the light source, so the top of the arms, top of the head, that sort of thing. So next we're going to grab some Agrax Earthshade, which is going to water down a tad. And we're just going to apply this into some parts of the armour. You could do it all over if you like. It depends on what, um, or like how weathered you like your RG88 series droid to look and if anyone out there is watching this that has painted Necrons it is going to be as easy as painting Necrons. Just a nice black spray, quick dry brush and then a wash over the top. So as the Agrax is drying I'm just going to go over to the belts. So on the box art it is in black, but I like to do my belts in a leathery brown, so I'm going to take a mixture of Mornfang brown and Abaddon black, give it a 50-50 mix. And then I'm going to apply a nice base coat over the belts. And then I will highlight it with the Mornfang. And then probably give it a final highlight maybe some scratches with a, a lighter mix so for the highlight I'm just grabbing a tiny brush and I've mixed in just a little bit of Kisabelle flesh And we'll just take it nice and steady, just going over the edge. And if you want to add in any little scratches, then you're more than welcome to. So now that we're done with the leather work, we're just going to have a look at the blasters. So we're going to mix up a dark grey first. And then what we're going to do is that we're just going to lightly paint slash heavy dry brush over the top. And then yeah, we're just going to pick out just the raised areas and then we'll add in a little bit more lighter grey just to pick out the final highlights. So 
So, now that we have our assassin droid almost ready for assassinating, the last thing we need to do is his lenses. So we're going to grab some Abaddon Black, I'm going to grab some Mephiston Red, and our lovely white scar, and just to add to that, yellow as well. So, I'm going to start out with medium sized brush. Or a fine brush if you prefer. And we're just going to take a little bit of each of the Abaddon Black and the Mephiston Red. And we're going to carefully pick out the lenses. For the inset ones, we're just going to grab this tiny brush and just using pure Mephiston Red. And I've watered it down quite a lot and hopefully that should just pull nicely in the recesses there. Now I'm just going to mix in just a little bit of this yellow. I don't think we'll need the white. And I'm just going to try and catch Almost at the bottom half of the light of the lenses, sorry. And really that is it. So we'll pick a base that you like. And I'm not quite sure what to do mine yet, so we'll um, we'll wrap up here. So with this second assassin droid, not only did I paint it in a brass effect, but I also, before painting, installed a few magnets so I can swivel his top body around with these teeny tiny magnets. And the head is also movable, the top section here, and the main head there as well. So it can be looking one way and then having the top section looking the other way. Just a nice little bit of detail and it just kind of adds a bit more to the model really. And so this is how I painted the IG series assassin droids for Star Wars Legion. Now I have put together both and painted uh, both of them that came in the kit. Uh, the second one that I've made, I made slightly, well painted slightly duller and used some brass scorpion just on a few armour panels just to make it look a little bit more like the box art because um, I wanted that one to look a little bit more grimier and battle-worn and the other to look more relatively new and well-kept. There will be stills of this uh, project over at my Instagram page at Lynch Paints and if you are new uh, then do give me some love over, over there with a follow. If you liked this video then I highly recommend giving it a like and a comment and if you're new a subscription would be massively appreciated. And if you wanted to support me just that little bit further, I do have a link to my coffee page in the description down below. So, without further ado, stay safe, stay beautiful, and we'll see you next time.